What's up everyone? I'm going to be showing you how to program drums in Ableton. Uh, a lot of people have questions um, about whether they should use audio or MIDI. Um, most cases it, that's um, answered by what genre of music you're using. Sometimes if you want to glitch things up more you're going to want audio but um, to satisfy both those needs, audio and MIDI, because MIDI is you know, fast to um, program in your drums um, whereas audio you have to move it around and get it just right. Um, I kind of have a solution to both of those where you can program using MIDI but have the audio that you've programmed from the MIDI. So the way I'm going to do that is first I've dragged in a drum rack here and I'm going to drag in some instruments like we would. Um, let's just grab the kick, okay, snares, I'll do. Clap. Yeah, that'll work. And a hat of some source. That works. Okay. So I'm going to make now make audio tracks for each of those instruments. So if we remember correctly, we had the kick, the snare, the clap, and the I'm going to make that my drum group, so command G, name the drums, okay, so now I have these audio tracks. Now here's where the magic happens. Um, you're going to take the audio from your drum rack and you're going to want to, for the kick, obviously you're going to want to use the kick as seen there, and then apply that as you would um, for each of the other instruments. So. And then we are going to want the snare, drum rack, we are going to want the clap, and yet again, one last time, the hat. Okay, so now, um, if I change all of these to in, when I go to my drum rack, you should see them, their meters go up, yeah. So, I think you can... Mute your drum rack, yeah. So if we, let's just program in a quick beat. Let's say f the good old classic, four to the floor, with a snare and a clap. Do a little ghost notes for those of you that don't know. Hopefully you guys do know. Just make your claps and snares it extra hard and then get a little hi-hat going. sounds all right cool so now we have them coming through audio so um, right now I don't have audio files to work with the way the actual wave files so I'm gonna have to record in something so we can just record in a bar of that watch it and uh, oh no I need to set these to record my bad let's um Highlight all of these at the same time. Okay, now it should be good. All right. <clears throat> oh, wait, I gotta hit play on this guy. Let's do that again. Okay, not an issue there. We can just drag the, um, the loop braces. Or what the? Drag them back, yeah. Let's highlight all of them. So we have all of our track. There we go, okay. And this guy. Okay, now right now these are showing up as clear because I have the um, monitoring set to in. I'll put it on auto. And now I have the audio to work with. So here's where you can start doing some cool stuff if you're trying to glitch your stuff up or if you just like having audio to work with. You can, I mean, you can. Uh, that sounds terrible, but here, let's try this. And then maybe we want to throw in some. That's yeah, just. I mean, just to give you an idea of some glitchy stuff you could do. I mean, this is, if 
by no means uh, the beginning of a musical production, but you guys get what I'm saying here. So you have audio and MIDI, and that allows you to have more flexibility, and you can use the the master sends and returns as opposed to um, being limited to just six sends and returns in the drum rack. And so that's where some of the advantages come into play with audio instead of um, using the drum rack. All right, guys, hope, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks, bye.